Okay guys, so I just want to give you all a comparison, if possible, of my 2004 Dodge Ram 3500 before and after EMF steering bushings. So I'm pulling my 30 foot gooseneck empty um, and the truck has the stock steering, steering box and it has rebuilt front end like tie rods and all that stuff. Probably about well, it was two years ago but I just want to see if we can tell how much of a difference that it makes and that I can actually prove it with EMF steering bushings um, in case there's any doubt of anybody getting them I can be like hey yeah the best thing that I ever did is my steering's pretty sloppy and um, I'm tired of it I'm really tired of being all over the road with it so, I run Cooper ST Max tires on the fronts there at about 60 or 65 PSI. If I go higher than that, the truck really does fall all over the road. And I found that out because I got my tires right when I got my front end rebuilt. So, that sucked. You can already tell, um, this is not intentional. This is how I drive every day. Okay, so I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Like, I get excited about all of my mods, but here are the EMF steering bushings right here. So, they're like $19. I got them from CJC Off Road, I think. You can go to EMF's website, and they've got all their dealers and stuff listed. You can look up this QR code, it gives you the um, installation instructions. These are good for like 03 to 2015 or something like that. So, Let's see what happens. So, open up the little Ziploc bag. And here they are. All they are is just little aluminum inserts. So, you don't have to pull the steering shaft out or anything for this. Um, and I just dropped one on the ground. They say you can, you don't have to, but you can use blue or orange Loctite if you want to on them. I'm not going to. But what we're going to do, like, I'll let you see how much play this thing has in it. You see how it takes a while for it to, it turns it, but it takes it a while for it to finally make contact with that pin. So, I'm going to turn the steering wheel where it's straight down. And this bushing, this pin is straight down, and then we'll tap one in, and then we'll do the other one. They say to take it, find the tapered edge, and drive it in lightly, ha drive it in about halfway with a hammer, rotate the wheel, put the other one in about halfway and then drive them on in so let me crank it up that way I can turn the wheel alright here's with the truck running since it's actually got power steering and there's some play in it you can see that so let me tap that one in alright so they're both in both sides they say you can use some blue or orange Loctite or a hose clamp 
I don't remember what size it is. Just to make sure they stay in. I had a really tight snug fit. They say they're supposed to fit snug anyway, obviously. Mine was pretty snug, so I'm not gonna worry about the Loctite or the hose clamp or anything. But you really do, you just if you kind of aim it to the side, you can get your hammer up in there better and and uh, it's easier if the truck is running, that way you can turn the wheel easier. Um, I'm excited to drive it and see what it feels like. So we'll see how that goes. All right guys, so I haven't posted, I mean, I haven't videoed the follow-up on replacing my intermediate steering bushings at EMFs. Um, so I'm not towing the same load, but it's similar. This is my paddle trailer with one horse in the back. And I know it's not the same stretch of road, but it should give you a pretty good comparison. It's honestly a lot smoother, and it's not just my imagination. It's easier to keep it in one direction. Now when I it, it responds so much faster. So now any kind of movement that I do is to get it back on course. It's not like I'm turning my steering wheel just to it's not like I'm turning my steering wheel just to get it to not go that direction. It's actually making it respond. I'll pause it and then when I get up here on the highway after this red light I'll, I'll video for you some more so that um, y'all can see at some highway speed. Alright, waiting on the red light cycle.